Hey guys, a quick video on how to disassemble the Nikon uh, Monarch scope, rifle scope. Uh, this is Nikon uh, Monarch UCC. Uh, it's 2.5 to 10 by 50. So the zoom is between 2.5 here and 10 and 50 is the diameter of the, the larger lens. The disassembly process uh, I'm going to show you is going to be about the front lens and the, the bottom lens. So this one is quite simple. Uh, you just have to uh, grab the scope on one hand I think or put it in the vise but hold it firmly on this end and then just try to unscrew this small part of it and before this little belt it goes just like so that's uh, counterclockwise As you can see, it goes a little bit, it has tiny threads over there. All right, here we go. Here it is. This is the lens, that's the one I was fixing previously. Yep, if you want to take the lens out, you have to uh, undo these kind of. Uh, there's a ring, ring here that you have to undo using one of the optical keys. Something that looks like this. Now this is a cheap and uh, no, maybe not the best one. But it worked for me. And that's what you see inside the scope. Oh, not much. Just the tube. So I'm going to put this one back and this thing just uh, freely goes here. There's a, an O-ring, a seal. All these scopes are watertight. So you don't have to be scared or afraid of the weather. I think before I've disassembled it, it was even nitrogen purged. Well, not anymore. I have made it uh, air nitrogen filled. Air contains, I think, more than 70% of nitrogen in it. That will work for me. Okay, that was the front lens. And this is going to be the, the bottom lens. So first you undo the, the zoom uh, kind of thing. And then there's a tiny, oh, tiny ring as well here with the optical key kind of... Uh, things or like little grooves. I've used just tweezers that I have here. It, it again wasn't the best tool to use but it kind of worked for me. Actually I think I was doing it like that like so just with one thing and I was taking it out so to say with the at the same time as, um, as the zoom would uh, go out. Okay, I think that's it. Here we go. So you can see how this one works. These are the zoom threads. They are even here. And this is the uh, kind of the locking mechanism, this little ring. And what you see here is the a little kind of crosshair. It's on this side and there is actually there is no uh, there is no lens or no glass covering those little wires. 
they're just tiny little, little wires that, uh, that are sitting there. So you can fix those as well if you need to. Uh, yeah, and then just uh, putting it back. Just making sure that the, the focusing threads are in place. The, no. Yes, yes. The focusing threads are in place and now the locking ring. It wasn't easy to, to undo it, I can tell you. Um, it took me a couple, I mean, some attempts and some time and uh, some nerve as well. All right. Just uh, hand tightening it. Now I can do it with the tweezers. All right. Good. I think that's it pretty much. This scope also has the uh, a little LED that lightens the the crosshair there, uh, and it has the, the the red and the green lights. Uh, the way how you do it, you just uh, yeah rotate this little thingy, and that's it. There's a little better inside. You have to undo these screws, and then this part will come off, and you can replace the battery over there. Well, and that's pretty much it. You can also, uh, yeah, you can also disassemble this part, like separate it. Um, I've made it, I did it, I think a couple of weeks back. I don't remember exactly how I did it. I undo this bolt and I think I took out all these pieces to see what's inside of it. And then I think this whole part just, uh, you can uh, just undo it, and that was it. These guys, are st I haven't disassembled those. I don't really want to, but maybe one day. That's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys, how to take the, the front lens out and the, the back lens out as well. If you need to have some sort of a reparation or a fix for the scope. That's it. Hope you like it. Uh, if you find it useful, yeah, put a thumb up, thumbs up. Uh, if you don't like it, well, put thumbs down, of course, and leave a comment what you think could be improved. It's a new here. Uh, yeah, if you have some comments, leave them below. I'll try to answer them for now. But thanks for watching and goodbye.